that I know is that people have found small llama shapes here into the reproduction shape. If you will go into the museums, yeah. you will find them. They look like this. The, on the ear, the mouth is here. Here's the neck. And here comes the body like this. Okay. Like this shape. Yeah. Many of them were found right on there. Uh, like you mean on stones? Exactly. Okay. Made on the stones. Okay. Small stones. Too. A ceramic. Okay. To be buried underground, always a couple of them representing duality, to rep for reproduction. Ah. Sometimes enveloped with in fat, in yama fat. Yeah, yama fat. So they should be giving them life. Okay. We buried them underground as if they should be asking, as should be as if they should be giving thanks to the Pachamama for everything they have taken during the last year, and as if they should be asking for more in the future. Pachamama is so the puma. Mother Earth, oh, mother. mother Earth, Mother Earth, right, right. So it was like a treatment between nature and humanity. Okay, I see, I see, I see. But actually, uh, if you will observe the area, then you're gonna realize uh, that we saw a really big farming area. Which is? By over there. This one? Look at the terraces. The there. terraces, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So these yamas used to eat the grass here in these big flat areas. Yeah. In front. But this place down here, it was more simple. Okay. It was a corral. Corral. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, just for all the llamas. Exactly. Okay. How simple is that? Okay. And now, look I see. At the, look ahead. at the look at the entrance over there. Just one intake and to get yeah. out too. Yeah. Just one entrance. Yeah. It was a corral. Yeah. It was so it was a corral. Okay. What what's what's here on the other side? Like I mean, a hole. Yeah. For what? Yeah. They were found some uh, offerings right in there. Okay. Nobody knows exactly the real purpose. 